Well, I just, you know, I'm happy to be here, and I had this great part, great part, one of the best roles of my life, written by this gentleman, Russell Brown, and co-starring with Kelly Blatz, who's just a fantastic co-star. We played a very interesting role. Tell we played us the most well-written thing you've ever imagined. Then, or then tell us the the name of the film. Lauren and Rose. It's playing tomorrow again. We played yesterday, and it's playing again tomorrow. Do you know where and what time? It's at the, the Fiesta Five tomorrow at 1:20. Uh, so that's that's pretty tomorrow. Tell me your first and last name again. My name's Russell Brown, and I'm the writer director of Lauren and Rose. And Kelly Blatt's here playing Lauren. What inspired you to write this story? You know, I'd really had so many wonderful relationships with mentors and other people that I've worked with over the course of my filmmaking career. And the, the movie really started as a way to kind of honor that and explore the relationship between mentors and students and, and, uh, and people who inspire art, artistry and artists. So she's the student and he's the mentor? <laughs> no, I, well, no, he's the young filmmaker and I'm the uh, actress, the aging actress who's been having troubles, but I've still got a little juice. Oh my goodness, this is great. Well, one of the things about, about the movie also is sort of the, the circular nature, though, of mentorship and friendship and, and how these two characters really give a lot to each other. It's not really just one way, and, and that, oh, that's kind of one of the major themes of the, the movie. That's the perfect way to mentor, isn't it? It's, yes. about, it's about a great, great friendship that starts with a certain idea of me going to him to try and get employed by him as a young filmmaker, and then the balance just keeps shifting different ways. But it's really so well written. I mean, it's such a joy. And explain your role and how lucky you got to be to work with this magnificent actress. Very lucky. I play Lauren, who is the young filmmaker, uh, who is hoping to cast uh, Rose, who Jacqueline plays in his first feature film. And uh, the light's not very happy. We developed this wonderful friendship and relationship and mentorship that lasts uh, the rest of her life, and it's uh, beautiful. I she became a mentor and a, a friend of mine as well, Jacqueline. So it was a, in a real wonderful life. in real yeah, life. It's yeah, a wonderful yeah. experience. Boy, we've become, become very close, you know. Oh, that's wonderful. It's just that's so terrific. cozy. Yeah. It's how cozy did you? And it's stimulating. How, how did you find her? How did they find? How did you find each other? Well. Uh, Jacqueline and I actually knew each other through another mutual filmmaker friend of mine and one night we were all having dinner and I was in the process of writing the script and Jacqueline just started talking about her life and her work and the, the, the wonderful things and up parts of her career and also the, some of the disappointments and it was funny because she started kind of doing the part without knowing she was oh, doing the part that? And, and that really touched me and, and we started, I sent her the script and we started talking about it and that's how it, how it began. Did you do this during the pandemic? We did this before the pandemic. And before, yeah. before. We got stuck in the pandemic period. We, we made it two years ago, right? Yeah, it was, it was shot in 2019, but the, so we were finished pre-pandemic, but a lot of the post and everything that needed to get finished to, make, to finish the movie got slowed down because of the pandemic. But it's still relevant. It's, a, it's an epic story for all time. It's time. Yeah. I was just, it's a film that people are going to go back to. Oh, when the, it's, right. it's got a little area of something very original to it. Right. Which is a lot, there's a lot of truth in it about, I hate to use the word artist because it sounds pretentious, but there's a lot of stuff about art being an artist, isn't there? Absolutely, yes. And how it all comes and goes. And well, that's why we're here. It's not pretentious, that's why we're all here. I know, but using the word artist always bothers me. I never could use the word artist. I can't say that word for myself. I can only say, when I started acting, people would say, are you a... Are you an actor? And I'd say, I, I, I know I can't say I'm an actor. I, I said, I do a little acting. I found it myself too pretentious. I just couldn't. And everybody says they're an actor. And yet here you're standing on the red carpet in Santa Barbara, California. What? And yet you're standing on a red carpet in Santa yeah. Barbara, California. <laughs> red carpet is... Oh, become, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, it doesn't mean... Well, it, it, no, it's, a, it's, it's a, you have to earn the word. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think. I think you've earned it. I hope so. I, I, I definitely think she's our dead. And I think the movie's unusual in, in this way, too, is that there really aren't a lot of parts, I think, like this for mm. for older actresses oh, and who really dominate the entire movie. You know, the whole oh, movie so is great. about her, and she's on, on screen every second of the film. And so I think I think that it's something special in this film. Well, thank you for that. We can't wait to see what you write next. Oh, thank yes. you, thank you. Yes, we've got to get him working again, right? <laughs> 
This is our local uh, TV station, KEY TV, and I, she was very, very nice to let me go first. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. My pleasure.